Hey guys, this is Friday wrap up. Um, hat to the back for my 90s day. Um, I just want to, like always, summarize some things we've done well, some things that we're still struggling with for this week that I've noticed. Let's start with our questioning. Yay! I think people finally understand the concept of our questioning. Most people are getting the five out of five points now, right? You have to answer the question, then you have to reply to someone else, then you have to answer someone else's question. The point of it is group work, you know, interacting with students. So I think that we are understanding those concepts more. Very good. If you're still only getting three out of five points, please, please, please make sure you're responding to others and you're correcting your answer. Um, the questions, make sure that you're answering them, whether you know them or not. You need to Google it, watch a YouTube video, ask a friend, um, ask in the, so when I post a question, there is private comments to me and then there's class comments. Ask in a class comment, like, hey, how do I do blah, 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 blah. I've definitely already seen students will go back and answer that question for you. That's what's supposed to happen. The point of those questions are group work for you to collaborate with other students to get understanding that way. When the questions are completely done, the cycle's done, I go and I review all of that. Most of the questions come from classwork, so the class lesson. If you are distance learning, if you are out because you're sick, if you are um, quarantined, for whatever reason you're not physically in class, I do turn on Google Meet every session, right, that we have internet. So I'll say, hey, going on Meet now. I also post the calendar so you know when your session rotation comes up. Write it down somewhere. Print it out, whatever you need to do. Tap into those Google Meet sessions. Today, both sessions, no one logged in from online. So I meant from at home. So the sad thing about that is I review the notes. So now when you go ask me a question about something I did today on Google Meet in classroom, I'm going to tell you to refer to the notes because that's part of being a student as well, right? You have to show up for class time because if not, you're going to fall behind. That's not good for you either. When the Google Meet doesn't work, the internet's funky, all of those things do happen, then I'll record a video. I can't do both at the same time. We are working on that, but it's not happening right now. The sound just doesn't record through and then it's a waste of time. Um, what else? Opening project due today, yay, right? We've had now a month and a half to do it. I've posted two videos, part one and part two on YouTube. And um, we went over it in class. So please make sure you submit your final project. I made your opening project. Once you submit it, I will go through it, put some comments on it. You'll have a chance to make corrections. The corrections will be due at the end. Of, I'll give you one week to make the corrections. And um, if you made the corrections and there's still a lot of corrections, you can resubmit again. What else? Um, Oh, end of the marking period. We have one more cycle. So we have the end of this cycle because we're still only on day two. Um, I'm at day three. And then we have one more cycle and then it's the end of the marking period. So during the next cycle, day one of the next cycle will be your test. Right now I posted already a practice quiz and the objective so far of the unit. So please review that, do those, complete those so that you'll have all your good quality questions for the next class. Get all your questions out. If you don't do the review, you won't know what questions to ask. And then you'll be stuck trying to ask me those questions or email. And we all know me answering email questions about math is not helpful. Let's get to email. Email. So if you email me after 2 o'clock, the likelihood of me answering it before the next day is slim. Like I said at the beginning of the year, I do have two children. One is nine years old and he's home distance learning while I'm teaching. He is home with my older son. However, he's not getting any assistance. So when I get home, we're doing most of his work together. So I don't really have time for emails when I get home on top of, you know, cooking dinner, being a human. Um, so if you email me after two o'clock, I'm sorry, but most likely I won't get to it. I said this at the beginning of the year and I gave you my Google text line. So if you have a quick question, 
just hit my Google text line and I will try to answer it. If it's a long winded question or something that I need to, you need actual notes for, I'll say, hey, I have to get this tomorrow or this is where you can find the notes. I will guide you to where you need to go. But if it's just a Google Classroom comment or email, I most likely won't see it to even answer it. It doesn't come up for me. I don't have those alerts on after four, again, because I'm being a mom. Um, I'm very sorry that this is very hard for all of us, but remember that it's hard for all of us. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's the end of my wrap up. Hopefully I covered all of the things that were common misconfusions. People are turning in work better. So I think that we're getting used to this. Um, hopefully we'll have a little bit more time in before anything happens, but if we do go full-time distance learning, this is how it will go. I'll probably do some wrap-ups. Every once in a while, I'll do a video, but a lot of it will be research-based, you know, so you got to get used to answering those questions. On your homework, a lot of people did not answer the thinking questions. You got to answer those questions, and even if you're wrong, I want to see where your thought process is so I can help guide you. If no one answers it, I don't know where to even start with helping you. Okay, so you answer it, I get to see what's wrong, and then I know what questions to answer. Okay, just saying nothing leaves us nothing. All right, um, good job again on the questioning. Good job on Google Classroom. This is tough, and you are hanging in there. The end of the first mark period is coming. The stock market will be up and ready, exciting, exciting, right? Something you can do with your parents. Remember that, right? You both can sit down and look at it. If they already do the stock market, yay, then they can help you. If they've never looked at the stock market because it's confusing or I don't got no money for that or all the things, the excuses we make for not jumping in, this is the time to look at it. We'll be analyzing different cases, different people, credit reports, all that fun stuff this year. So I'm ready and excited, and I hope you are. If you did not put a partner, I most likely am giving you a partner. Um, and that's because you need a financial assistant in order for you to complete the project. Later on, there'll be things that you would have to do, collaborate, blah, 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 blah. Okay? This video is getting, getting long. I only like to do three minutes, and we're at seven have a great weekend, have fun, be safe, all of those fun things that happen around this awkward time, and it's freezing outside, so stay warm, drink some hot chocolate. Bye, guys.